I guess we're just gonna watch a video real quickly because I would like to learn more more about this character and today Let's i'm bringing you another genshin Let's impact quick, video quick and this time we're along. going to be discussing this mysterious character she might show up in, in shazaya as a character files. say like i would like, like for her to appear and most importantly share if you enjoy this video maybe and not like as a playable content. character but YouTube maybe as really a... does not like it when i do Seriously. stuff other than dog and rafa so okay, i would very much Surely appreciate enough, the support him. and yeah that type of stuff helps me out but um maybe as like an npc or something rider with pinker that's what i'm probably thinking yeah yeah rider was found in genshin's early game file more specifically, it's enclosed beta testing one, which yeah. is the absolute earliest version of Genshin Impact available. Mm -hmm, According mm -hmm. to the cutting room floor, it was given to a limited amount of beta testers yep. during the week of June 21st, 2019, mm -hmm. and found its way onto the internet through an Anon Files upload. If you mm -hmm. look at the files from this version, you can see there is a lot of differences between this God. and what we ended up with. Although it's not playable due to its servers being shut down, video yeah. footage does still oh, exist. Wait! That's what the beta tests look like? Oh, that's so sloppy. <laughs> that is so sloppy. Look at that. <laughs> Max stamina 100. These are pretty interesting. All right, Candy Dude has finished so I can hear stream. Hey. Like oh, yeah, I do remember this. I remember seeing this like around. Honestly, I prefer the Kokomi that we have. But I love the hairstyle of the old version of Kokomi. I really, really do. Like, that hairstyle is very, very pretty. Yeah, and then Shenha also got, like, a change. I kind of like the old Shenha design. I think it's because of the blue leggings. Nice versions. By far, the most mysterious character in these files is this character sometimes referred to yes! as Kate and other times referred Firstly, to as Kevin. <laughs> Weird names, I know. There's a decent amount Kevin? of information that has been dug up about her by Genshin leakers and data miners, though. It's believed that her model was used as a placeholder for the travelers, since a reputable mm -hmm. leaker who goes by Lumi Lumi on Twitter uncovered that Kevin and Kate both use the Kate model, and it's shown that she has both mm -hmm. Animo and Geo visions with these listed skill effects. She also has a red variant likely to differentiate between Kate and Kevin in game. So this would all make sense if she was a placeholder for Ether. Oh, so she was both. She was Ether and Lumi. Interesting. Okay. Kate and Kevin. Mahio can give Shen his skin, maybe? Maybe. ...and Lumin before they received their official names and designs. Also, I noticed mm -hmm. on the cutting room floor that her file name was Test Heroine Type 01, so I'd say that's pretty solid confirmation as well that she was, in fact, used as a placeholder for them. But this isn't yeah. where the mystery of Kate ends, because there is some other conflicting information that has been leaked that makes it seem like she was more than just a placeholder for Lumin and Ether. A Reddit user mm -hmm. found some of her scrapped voice lines from the first beta test on Billy Billy. Wait, she has voice the lines? Post was deleted but you can no. still look at the page if you use the wayback machine which will show you an archive of the page from june 2021 the lines that were deleted mm -hmm. were the following reporting for duty i came back from vacation thank you sir you can call me kate is there any work you need me to do grandmaster gene i just came to work so i'm not too familiar with these areas she so had voice lines that she was not only a stand-in for the protagonist but also at some point during development was meant to be her own unique character a knight yeah. of Favonius who worked under gene the data Miner also revealed that she's five feet tall and her full name is Kate Kaslana. According to this tweet by Zeniet, they stated that a data miner revealed that she was intended to be an electro sword user at one point as Dude. well. So I have two theories about this. First, since it's confirmed that she was a placeholder for the Travelers, they could have given her mm -hmm. Electro abilities just to test out the Travelers' future skills. Oh, come on, that would have been but so cool. Say, we need more, names, more travelers, Electros. They don't sound too similar. Her abilities were listed as Flicker Wave, Thunderfall, and Pierce Lightning. And the Travelers' Electro abilities These are, not that useful are anyways, since it doesn't affect the Lightning Yeah, but it's interesting thunder. to like it look back, hard though. Basing the comparison off names alone. I like to look at the history also, of Genshin before it became Genshin. Traveler, they could have been scrapped or changed a lot before the final version. My other idea is that mm -hmm. since it does seem like at one point she was meant to be her own unique character, Clarence those could have been her sword user, yeah. abilities. But to my knowledge, there's no confirmation on either I mean, we got Kuki, ideas. but... Something else I noticed Kuki's that's pretty more interesting of a about support. her is how similar her design looks to Noelle. Yes! Most notably, they're both short, they have pale skin, short, light grayish hair, and they have these mechanical Kitching is electro, arms. yeah. Kate's looks more robotic, Kitching. while Noelle's <laughs> looks more like armor, but it is a pretty unique feature that they both share. One of the 
the few visual differences between them is their eye color, Noelle having green mm-hmm. eyes and Kate having blue eyes. But I noticed in one of Kate's designs in closed beta testing too, she actually does have green eyes instead, which makes me wonder mm. if maybe the creators used Kate's design as a base for Noelle's and that this was one of the first Maybe Kate became Noelle. Even comparing their clothes, they look pretty similar to knee-length dress Can't believe this. with a belt across <laughs> and a chest window. Noelle's is much Listen, more fleshed I've been out forgetting characters today. Personality, but I don't think it's too much of a stretch. Welcome on in, awesome man. Based off of Kate's. And even though Noelle isn't a Knight of Favonius yet, a big part of her mm-hmm. personality is becoming one. And since we know from Kate's voice lines that she was meant to be a Knight of Favonius, I feel like their personalities mm-hmm. are pretty similar too. Although I feel like there's a decent amount of evidence for it, it's a little difficult to confirm this theory since I can't get exactly God, I will the love her made. too. But according to I don't the know, like, I will love for them to Noelle's like bring it back. Was present in closed beta testing one, but wasn't playable yeah. until closed beta testing two. So overall, I think oh, there's a decent okay. chance that this is the case. But like I said, I can't really confirm it either way. God. God, wait, do you guys remember Shang Ling's like old, like old model? Look at Shang Ling's like old fucking icon model. Look at that. <laughs> I, I completely forgot that they changed it the case but like i said i can't really confirm it either way the final really interesting thing regarding kate is her last name Caslana. she shares this name with the protagonist of kiana Caslana from honkai impact which is another game made by hoyoverse i think they likely gave mm-hmm. her the same name because she was based off of kiana's design comparing the two they look pretty similar both pale blue eyes very light hair i think it makes sense that in early testing for a does character, love you might kiana. be a little bit lazier and base their design heavily off of another established protagonist from another franchise so i think one of the mm-hmm. other reasons they may have decided to scrap Kate was because they thought she wasn't original enough. Another notable thing to mention is that the unknown I god, like her design. The maybe like fight in the opening like scene, spice it also up a little bears bit. a striking resemblance to Kiana Kazlana as well. More specifically, her Hersher of the Void design. According to the Unknown Gods wiki page, the two also share the same Chinese and Japanese voice actresses. There's a few other things mm-hmm. that have led fans to believe that the games are connected. Some noticed that in a screenshot from Honkai Impact, you can see Devalin present on a computer screen. Then obviously the names are similar, both having Impact in the title. According to this article by Game Rant, the name Impact holds significant to Honkai's universe. In short, Hersher's attempt to destroy humanity in apocalyptic events, sometimes referred to as Impacts. This could imply that Genshin's story is leading up to an impact by the Hershers in this universe. But I do want to be clear that this is all speculation. Unfortunately, I doubt yeah. our girl Kate will show up even if this is a future plotline in Genshin. This I know, but it would be awesome. That she's not even in the game files anymore. But I still thought oh, this information she isn't, was Oh, she isn't, so she's completely wiped out. Since she does share some features Wait. with Kian. Kate being in the 2.3 file is in Rio. She existed in CBT long ago, but hasn't been used or heard of since then. According to Lumi, Kate was just a placeholder for travelers. Also, Mimi and Kokomi being twin sisters in Rio as well, yeah. Oh, so she's not even in the files anymore. She's completely wiped out. It was interesting to share regardless since she does share some features with Kiana and the Unknown God. I also admittedly don't know Mm -hmm. much about Honkai Impact, so I'd have to do a lot more research to discuss this theory in depth. But anyways, this will conclude the video. What do you guys think about Kate? Personally, I'm leaning towards the theory I that her model back. was used heavily to inspire Noelle because of all the similarities I pointed yeah. out. Because of this, I doubt we'll ever see Kate implemented as her original self in the game. Aww. But I'd love to hear what you guys think too. Do you agree with my theory? Or do you think there's a chance she could be redone <laughs> and released later? Let me know in the comments. And also let me know what other Genshin videos you would like to see from me. There's a Paimon theory that I'm really interested That's in making cute. a video on. That's very, and I'm also cute. thinking of maybe making a Venti character analysis after I finish my Shiaki one. But yeah, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> please do leave a like and a comment and share if you did enjoy it. I'm just going to post it in chat if you guys want to watch it yourself. That's a really, really good video. I will see you. That's a really, really good video.